In this tutorial, we are going to cover the creation of Chrome in Adobe Photoshop. We're going to open up our workspace. Now, a lot of you may say, hey, well, I can easily just go up to the filter and come down to Sketch and choose Chrome. Well, if you do that, things aren't going to pan out the way you're thinking they will. So I'm going to choose my text, and I'm going to type um, Chrome, for example, and I'm going to resize it. once I resize it accordingly to my heart's desire I'm going to apply the transformation I'm going to come down to the layers panel and I'm going to control left click on our text and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to turn off the text layer just so I can add the marching ants now the reason I want the marching ants is because I want to apply a gradient inside the marching ants and to do that I'm going to click on the gradient tool in a gradient tool I've already created a gradient that has gray white and gray at the end and um, this is supposed to simulate our chrome effect so I'm going to say OK I'm going to click and drag and we come up with something like this all right although this looks cool this is not the end result so what we're going to do next is actually um, play with uh, the channels all right I'm gonna play with the channels so the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to channels I'm gonna duplicate the blue channel and once I duplicate the blue channel what I'm going to do is highlight the blue channel turn make sure everything else is off I'm gonna go to um, filter blur I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur with let's say um, 7 pixel to our our font here now the reason I'm ad adding 7 pixels is because this is going to create what we call mountains and the mountains are going to create the illusion of a reflection you know the dark area and a white area and then so on and so forth so I'm gonna click OK to that and we're happy with this and from here I'm just gonna go straight and click on the RGB where everything is selected and go up to filter come down to artistic and I'm actually going to apply what we call a plastic wrap okay I'm gonna apply a plastic wrap and once you do that this is the effect that you come up with all right I'm gonna click OK and the reason I'm adding that is because I want to have more reflections or contours to deal with once I add the chrome and once I have it like this you can actually go back and add another plastic wrap and as you can see here you are starting to have more features appearing I'm gonna control Z that because that's not what I want I'm gonna to go to filter now I'm going to apply the chrome and when I apply the chrome this is what I come up with and once I come up with that I can add details to the chrome I can click and drag to show more details and I can also re reduce the smoothness come up like this so now you see we have something really metallic that's in here like the word implies chrome and I'm gonna say okay to that and here we have the chrome I'm gonna click on our rectangular marquee tool and then click on our workspace to get rid of everything now this really looks like a metal that's been dented it looks really like chrome you know with a reflection on it now it's not really outstanding to make this outstanding I'm gonna choose the layer panel again make sure you're on the layer the chrome layer I'm gonna come down to the FX or you could just hit F on your keyboard and I'm going to add a bevel emboss I'm gonna add a bevel and what the bevel is gonna do is create those contours around it for us and in so doing I'm gonna click the depth to make it strong and also play with the size so I can have that blocky effect you know like a metallic kind of block there you go right there all right we'll have it like that and um, pretty much I'm gonna click on OK and come back to our screen and here we have a chrome effect